Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Braid and on my channel we talk about skincare, we talk about beauty, sometimes a bit of self-care as well, maybe some of a bit of fashion as well. So if you are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content and if you do like the content, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up at the end. I really do appreciate all your support. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about chemical exfoliants and we're going to be talking about the differences between AHAs and BHAs. I know that there's a lot of information out there already online, but what I sometimes find is there's a bit of an overload of information. So what I want to do in this video is just to literally break it down, keep it as simple as possible, give you the examples of the different types of AHAs and different types of BHA, tell you what skincare types benefit from which type of chemical exfoliants, and then just give you some examples of what products also sit in both families. So if this is the kind of thing you are looking for and you'd like to know a bit more about this, then keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about AHA. That's what alpha hydroxy acids. These are water soluble acids, which are mainly derived from sugarcane and sometimes plant source as well. So you have two main types of AHAs. You have your glyconic acid and you have your lactic acid. The way I understand what AHAs mainly do is that they act as a solution to break the glue that holds the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. And that's why they're suitable for your dry and dehydrated skin. So with your glyconic acid, these ones have smaller molecules and basically what that means is that they penetrate the skin a lot more, a lot quicker than let's say your lactic acid which are larger molecules. Your glyconic acid is suitable for dry and dehydrated skin but not suitable for sensitive skin. Because it absorbs so quickly, they can be a little bit strong for your sensitive skin type. But for sensitive skin types, you might want to look at lactic acids instead. So AHAs are great to help reduce the signs of hyperpigmentation. They are good for smoothing the texture of the skin. I would always recommend if you want to start with AHA, to start with your lactic acid. So there are so many options of glycolic and lactic acids available on the high street, whether it's high end or whether it's drugstore you're looking for. I personally would recommend the one from The Ordinary. That's just because that's the one I've used personally. And when I started, I started with their 5% lactic acid now they also have a 10% as well which is slightly stronger obviously but I would recommend if you're starting with lactic acids or any kind of acids you want to start at the lowest percentage as possible now because AHAs work for the surf on the surface of the skin don't use it daily when you start off start slow so maybe you start using it once or twice a week and once you build your tolerance up for it then you can increase how much you use it because the worst thing you can do is overuse those acids and you damage the barrier of your skin so you want to be really, really gentle with how you start to incorporate acids into your skin now they also have their glycolic acid which for me personally i found a little bit too strong so if you're someone that has really sensitive skin stick to lactic acid for now and build your tolerance up. And then we have BHA, and that stands for beta hydroxy acids. The most common one is your salicylic acid. Oh, that's such a mouthful, salicylic acid. So BHAs are mainly oil soluble. So if you think about it as a product that would penetrate your pores and dissolve any sebum or any dead skin that's trapped within the pores, so this is mainly suitable for oily or combination skin or any kind of acne prone skin. So your BHAs are also good for reducing inflammation and also any bacterial growth um, in the skin as well. The most popular one at the moment that I've used and I love is the one from Paula's Choice and that's your 2% exfoliant liquid. They do have a cream, a gel and a liquid version and it just depends on what your skin type is. I personally use the liquid one. I apply it with my hands or sometimes with a cotton pad as well. Now, the instructions for that is to use once or twice a day. Again, I would say be cautious. I wouldn't start once or twice a day. That's a little bit too much. Even I that I'm used to using acids, I found that a little bit too strong. So I will start off by doing once or twice a week and then gradually going from there. And sometimes you might feel like you actually don't need more than once or twice a week and just keep it as that. Just listen to your skin and well, your skin will tell you. If your skin's irritated, you would know, trust me. I've got combination skin and sometimes can have oily patches as well. I find that the BHA is a lot better for my skin type. 
Now I've talked about the Paulist Choice Exfoliant very briefly in one of my other videos which I will put a link up either here or here so you can have a look and I will be doing a separate video about this as well just because I feel like there's a lot I want to say about the product. It has massively changed my skin and you know there's a lot of tea that I want to spill about the product so just keep an eye out for that one. So guys that's it. So just a quick recap. So you've got your AHAs, which are your alpha hydroxy acids. There's two main types. You've got your glycolic and your lactic acid. They're mainly good for your dry, dehydrated skin, with your lactic acid being suitable for sensitive skin. Your BHAs are good if you have oily combination skin. That is it, guys. That is the very simple, basic, how I understand what both different acid types are. If you have any questions about either, please ask in the comments and I will come back to you. I'll also link in the description any additional options of BHAs and AHAs I can find. I hope you guys enjoy that and thank you again for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe like I said in the beginning and if you like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!